Hey tech lovers, welcome back. Have you ever got analysis paralysis trying to pick a network video recorder? You're not alone. Today, we're cracking the code on choosing the perfect NVR for your surveillance setup. I will show you five critical factors most buyers ignore and how to avoid expensive regrets. So let's demystify. Hey, want to quickly master network basics, camera settings, or even build your own security system? This course is specially designed for absolute beginners. From LAN selection to network configuration, we'll guide you through every step. And each lesson is simple and easy to understand, with hands-on demonstration to help you get started effortlessly. So click the link to our course video now and start your learning journey. First up, power over Ethernet. PoE. This changes everything. Here we have a PoE NVR. See these built-in ports? They power and connect camera. No extra switches or outlets needed. Super cost-effective for small or medium setup. The pros are clean wiring and plug and play. But the con is every camera must cable back here. And if you run out of ports, that means you need a separate PoE switch anyway. And here we have non-PoE NVR. This is a 32 channel and this is a 64 channel non-PoE NVR. They just have the data port. You need separate power injectors or switches that mean more gear, more clutter. But they're ideal for large systems with distant cameras. So for less cameras, PoE NVR saves cash and headaches. But if you get more cameras, you should go non-PoE plus a BV switch or injector. So number two, channels and resolutions, the hidden trap. Don't be fooled by big channel numbers. Here's the catch. Channel counts doesn't equal to usable cameras. A 64 channel NVR sounds epic, but if you use 4K cameras, you should check its maximum incoming bandwidth. A 32 channel NVR supports 16 4K cameras or 32 1080p camera. So if your NVR maxes at 2K resolution per channel, that means your 4K cameras will downscale, wasted money. So you should always match your camera resolution to the NVR's per channel support. Number three, hard drives. Storage smart hard drives are your evidence vaults. If you skip this, and you'll lose critical footage. A 4TB hard drive holds about 30 days for 8 1080p cameras. And if you get an 8TB, double that. More storage means longer retention. But in next video, I will show you exactly how to calculate storage. For now, bigger means better. And number four is playback. Have you ever tried watching 16 cameras at once and your NVR freezes? Here's why. Each 4K stream needs serious CPU muscle. A 32-channel NVR may only decode 8 streams simultaneously. So if you own a large-scale surveillance system, you need to check specs for maximum playback channels. This is your real multi-field limit. If you ignore it, and your evidence reveal becomes a slideshow. So number five, brand compatibility. On with is magic. On with is basic for different brands of cameras and NVR. It gives you video feed and motion alert. But if you're using mixing brands, proceed with caution. Because some advanced features like AI analytics or PDZ controls often brand locked. So the golden rule is, for seamless feature, you should always match the brands. Same brand of NVR and same brand cameras. Otherwise, you should test your exact cameras with the NVR first. So now it's time for our final recap. One, power over Ethernet for simplicity, but it only fits small to medium scale surveillance system. Two, match resolution to channel specs. Three, max out your storage. Four, verify playback limits. And five, stick to one brand for full features. Now, thank you very much for joining us. Next up, we'll dive into hard drive math made easy. 
So stay secure. I'll see you in our next one.